Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error and a Garage Update. These are my favorite videos um, to make. Uh, I know they're some of your favorite videos to watch too, so um, sorry I've been slacking on them, but that doesn't mean I haven't been busy. I've been quite busy, and for those of you, if you haven't watched, I didn't include this as part of the Garage Build series, but I did just recently put up a video on installing a mini split with heat pump in the garage, um, but it was more focused on that on the uh, heat pump than it was in the garage so I'm not didn't make it part of these these series of videos but at any rate I digress we will get back to where we're at garage wise so weather's turning and uh, insulating became a definite need so getting some insulation going and moving on to sheathing so in its entirety there was 160 sheets of 4x8 plywood to sheathe the inside of this garage that's a lot of work um, but I have been chipping away at it and as you'll see through this video we have it completely finished off here and the coolest part about it was um, my dad who was here on day one of this build the day that the lumber showed up when we started it um, he came back and helped me put up the very last piece of plywood uh, to finish off the wood portion of this garage build so he was there for the first piece and there for the last piece and i think that's pretty cool so at any rate i'll let you guys watch as we uh get this part done
So for the lower cabinets, I decided to notch the back of them and sit them up on top of the foundation, which gives me a little bit extra working table height, which at six foot two, six foot four in heels, but at six foot two, having that extra working height is actually an advantage for me. And uh, it allows me to put the cabinets up against the wall. Otherwise they'd be sitting out about two inches and then I'd have to do something with the countertop. And uh, this was just easier and, and I like the higher countertops. So I notched all those cabinets out and secured them to the wall. The two by fours that you see supporting them temporarily are just that. They're temporary supports and we'll be putting in some permanent ones and making a fascia board or kick plate to cover all that up at the bottom. Everything and the kitchen sink came with this deal. So both the cabinetry and the countertop I got for free. Um, it's used, but it's in great shape. And I'm trying to salvage as much of it as I can. And um, unfortunately, the countertop is not going to be long enough for the arrangement that I'm setting up here. As you see, uh, I've got a little work, kind of a workstation. Uh, took what, what used to be the little microwave cabinet and put that in the middle. And uh, my big gap in the center is where a stool or a chair can go and I can do my soldering there or whatever it is, the little detail stuff. So we're gonna need to extend the countertop and I can't find this exact color or pattern and that's actually fine because I wanna change it anyway. So I'm gonna pick up some additional countertop in any color, doesn't matter, as long as it physically matches what we have. And then I'm gonna try something I haven't seen but I'm um, going to use garage floor epoxy and do an epoxy coating over the entire countertop, which I think will look really cool, and it'll obviously make all the countertop one color, but it should also hold up really well to workbench type of activity. So uh, that'll be in a future video, but uh, just so you know, that that's kind of where we're headed with this. I've gone ahead and uh, put some spacers in here which will allow the drawers to open and not interfere with the lip of the counter. Um, I've also gone and put in my beer frigidator, which is crucially important to have in a garage. Made a little stand to get that up to match the counter height, and we'll bring our counters right up and over that. The other issue I had was, although these are great for storage, uh, putting a vise on top of this and then hammering on something these are just they're gonna blow apart so that wasn't gonna work what I did do is put this together it's a lot of wood it is super super solid in all directions it's bolted into the wall it is um, screwed in with masonry screws into the concrete on the floor here and then I made this little bump out so that we match the facade on the front we'll run our counters right over them I'll do a, a wall of some sort here. And uh, I think that pretty much will wrap up this area pretty perfectly. I did start putting in some kick plates down the bottom here. Still going, obviously, but you get the idea there. Got a two post lift that's gonna be going in at a 45 degree angle to all of this. This is gonna be, you'll be able to pull in. I'll have my rolling tool chest on one side. Rest of my tools will be in here and a workbench. I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Um, uh, I'll give you a couple of hints at videos that are coming. You can see on the wall over there, there's part of the air system. Really cool air system for super cheap, way less than what you would, what you typically pay when you buy those, uh, those air packages for, for shops and for garages. I'm also going to give you guys another sneak peek right now, which I wasn't going to do, but I want you to see the rest of the garage, um, because, you know, at the beginning of this video, we had bare studs and we now have walls painted decorations up and everything and the only way for me to show you all of that is to show you what will be the first major project coming out of this garage so i'm going to pan you around so you can see where we're at and you'll also notice yeah a buick grand national that's a 1986 i just picked up i'm not going to say anything about it other than to tell you it is going to be a major frame off project 
that it will <laughs> it'll be twin turbo it's going to do wheelies and it's going to do sub 10 second quarter miles that's the that's the that's the plan we'll see we'll, we'll see how things go but this is going to be a blast but at any rate um got the garage pretty well set up now have uh the heat and air conditioning as we talked about already as far as major work that needs to be done well i gotta clean up this dump um and i gotta do the window trim and a few other little things but we're in really really good shape right now so i think i'm gonna cut the video off here uh as always i really really appreciate everybody that watches this stuff and comments it, it means a lot to me uh, this is a true dream garage for me, so uh, it's nice to be able to share it with you guys that have a similar interest. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you make sure you see the next episode of this garage build. And uh, uh, yeah, that watch came in handy. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, so you, can, you get notifications when I put up additional videos and what else? Yeah, any comments, questions, concerns, and or criticisms, as always, throw them down in the comment section below me. And uh, otherwise, everybody have a great day.